Hello viewers, thank you so much for joining me at International Central Gospel Church, Liberty Temple in New Jersey. So today was a three-day program, Worship at His Feet, a dynamic praise and worship put together by the Integrity Choir and the head pastor, Pastor Podo. I got a chance to speak to Pastor Podo himself and the leader of the Integrity Choir, Pastor George Bio. It was a blessing to be here. It was nothing but praising and worshiping the Most High God. Many people were blessed. People had testimonies over testimonies and I am so excited that you are watching me right now. Stay tuned. So I have with me Pastor Podo, who is the head pastor of Liberty Temple, New Jersey. Now tell me the idea behind you coming up with this dynamic worship and praise um, program. Yeah, my desire is to bring in the people of God so that we can worship at the feet of Jesus. And, and b before I had the word dynamic, it, it, I've been thinking and wondering what name I could give to such a conference. And, and, and that word just came out of my spirit. And you saw the dynamics of the whole uh, um, worship. So dynamic in the sense that there is power in worship, there's deliverance in worship, there's healing in worship. So when we come before the presence of the Lord, we don't expect to live the same. Correct, correct. So I spoke to a couple of people who were here for the first time as guests. Now, what do you think about the end results of this entire program, the results, the outcome? Yeah, the, the end result that we trust that the Lord will touch the lives of people. The Lord will lift them to another level in their worship life. The Lord will bring about a transformation in their worship of the Lord and also to live um, a life full of praise and worship on a daily basis. Correct. Now, what can you tell our viewers um, what to expect the next year or what they missed out today? Oh, yeah. Those who couldn't make it, um, I can say they've missed a lot. In fact, next year we're trusting God that we'll be able to reach out to a lot of people because it seems that when we come here, we enjoy. And our desire is a lot of people to come and experience the blessing of God that we are experiencing here, the outpour that we receive here. So we trust in God and next year um, in 2016 Dynamic Praise and Worship Conference will be able to reach out to a lot of people, a lot of churches to also come and experience what we experience. So how was your experience today for the first time? It was fantastic. Uh, it was very uh, inspiration uplifting. Great. What are you taking home with you? The Lord is my savior. Absolutely. How did you enjoy the program itself? It was pretty good. I mean, coming from a Catholic background where it's more subdued, this was definitely a change, and it was something I'd like to experience again. So to my left is Pastor George Bio, the dynamic man of God who actually leads the Integrity Choir. Pastor, welcome to ACN African Christian Network. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. So you've been a blessing to us all for the past three days. Now tell me, how do you and the choir prepare for such a wonderful program? Uh, well, we have been doing this for um, maybe five years now. But I think this particular year, there were other things that we added on to it, which is we normally come here as our usual rehearsal. But this particular one, we decided out of the blue, it just came to our attention that we have to even add a fast to it. So we come here every Saturday to go over the songs, do our voice training, as you normally will know from every choir. But we added another touch to it, which was uh, entering into a moment of fasting and prayer. And I believe that is what has made all the difference. Great. Um, we were actually blessed today, just to let you know. Now, in the process of everything, did you know, did you know that you would always be a, a singer, like a lead worshiper? Uh, well, this is very strange because um, I never thought I could even sing, but I know I love music, but it just so happened that one day we went to church and the one who was supposed to lead the praise and worship didn't show up and I was called upon to try something and from there, the grace started working with me and I've been leading praise and worship for, I don't know how long, but maybe over 11 years oh now. Oh my goodness, over a decade. People, you have to watch him and hear him sing and praise and worship Lord. It's amazing, it's incredible. Now today, what is your, what's, what's your feedback about this uh, entire program? Any results? Like, how do you feel about it? Uh, well, I think the, the theme that we are running with is a very prophetic theme, which is at the feet of Jesus. And we go back into scriptures and realize that at the feet of Jesus, a lot of things happened. It is actually uh, 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 explained to us that that is the place of mercy. When you read Isaiah 66 verse 1, the Bible says that the heaven is the throne of God, but the earth is his full stool. So in retrospect, the very access that we can get to God is by his feet. And that is where mercies are received. And so we 
get back into scriptures and you realize that people that came to the feet of Jesus, the woman with the issue of blood, we never knew her name. But at the feet, she received a miracle. Something that has transpired in her life over 12 years, instantly she received a miracle. Mary, it's a long story. I can't even go there. But what we saw in these three days, people were just telling me, people who couldn't even lift up their hands for pain and other stuff, they were able to lift up their hands without anybody touching them because they had the mindset that we are coming under the feet of Jesus and there we receive our miracles. Miss Ikrasabia, how have you enjoyed the program today? Very well. Um, I'm a Sunday school teacher. Uh, sorry, I'm a Sunday school teacher. I usually in the Sunday school seven. Today I had a liberty and the opportunity to come in here to enjoy with them. It's been a good experience. It's been a while since I've been with the adults here and I've enjoyed the service very well. Absolutely. What are you taking home with you today? That we should have faith in God and God says he's with us all the time. Absolutely. And I'm glad you brought your dancing shoes for you today. Oh, I did. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>